everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heike and you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. I'm pretty sure my very little assistant Lola is going to join us any moment. She just wanted to have a little break in the garden. We have a very rare day of not all rain today, so she wants to go out and bask in the not very warm sun for a while. <laughs> it's a weird May here. It's a really weird May. All right. Um, I'm sorry for the yet again unplanned impromptu vanishing act. Um, it was a weird one because I was actually on vacation last week and I thought I would have so much time and all the videos and maybe even a live stream and nothing came of it. <laughs> I was just tired. I'm so tired right now that I hope that this video won't turn into all gibberish because I really want to share this with you. This package has traveled so much. Um, it has traveled across Germany and I'm pretty sure I packed it full of strange things and some hand dyed yarn and then sent it off to Ireland. And now it came back from Ireland. It's pretty heavy, so <laughs> there is a lot of stuff in here. Um, it is going to be mostly stuff that I ordered. Um, and I think all of it was ordered through my friend Jessie from Miss Late Pages. She has an Etsy shop and she is a fantastic, wonderful person. So if you would like to give this shop a look and maybe uh, see if you can find, find something that you like, please do so. Hi, Lola. Hi. Yeah, it's a package and you know the package, right? <laughs> You've got your hair all over it before I send it off to Ireland. Um, I ordered a bit of stuff from her. I'm pretty sure I didn't go completely overboard. But what should be in here for sure is all the fancy floss I will need for my Chatelain. And um, also some other stuff. And then Rachel said she was going to throw all the weird Irish goodies in there. So that is the surprise part, I think. And if anything else is in there, I have forgotten about it. So we are both going to be surprised here, my dear viewer. So let's get to it. Also, Rachel, these, these stickers, they make my heart hurt. I want to peel them off. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> yeah, it's your box. Shall we have a look what's in there? Yes, let's have a look. Let's see if we can get that open without stabbing the kitty. It's always a hard thing to do because the kitty is always up in my business. My craft knife is actually pretty blunt. I need to change the I need to change the blade. Ooh, I see Irish goodies. <laughs> I see Irish goodies. So let's have a look at this first. Ooh, that's so pretty. I really, really want to visit Ireland. <sighs> Stupid beer virus. I hope you're all over soon. Ooh, handmade goodies from Rory, the famous cook. <laughs> so let's see, we have of course chips because Rachel and I have this habit of exchanging chips. So what do we have here? Belly Malo relish, whatever this is, and cheddar cheese flavor. This sounds good. I mean, I only can identify 50% of the ingredients, but <laughs> that sounds really good. Oh, Ralph is going to love these. He loves vinegar chips. Um, me, not so much. They are a little bit too sour for me, but he is going to love that. Thank you so much, Rachel, <laughs> for feeding our chips habit here. And we have this brown baggie. Ooh, this is some Cadbury. Peppery roundy milk chocolate. Ah, milk chocolate wave rounds. I've never had those, but I can imagine what they are. They are going to be delicious. I love Cadbury. 
And I got three of those. I'm not entirely sure yet if I'm going to share them with the boyfriend. <laughs> he gets the chips already. So we might see. This is the silk and other special flosses for the Châtelain, um, for the Sand Garden. Um, Rachel and I are both going to do the same Châtelain. Um, we did not plan it this way, but we just fell in love with the same one. So we asked Jesse to get us all the special floss because we both have the issue that it's pretty hard to get for us sometimes. And um, yeah, Jessie went through a lot of trouble getting these for us because her um, supplier <laughs> still boggles my mind. Um, she put in a complete order and sometimes she got deliveries of one or two skeins of floss and that supplier just wouldn't collect the stuff until it was actually feasible to send something. Nope, just shipped out all the single stuff. Oh, this is so pretty. So we have a lot of silks and I think these are these special Karen wildflowers, I think they are called. This is a cotton floss, but it's very different from what I'm used to. You can see that this is um, a bit different from, for example, DMC. And I think you use, you don't try to, to part this into strands, you just use it as it is. There's another interesting one. Huh. We are going to open this. She put it on a ring too, so that makes it very easy not to lose stuff. <laughs> so let's see. These are the Gloriana silks. They are fantastic. Very soft, very shiny. I like silks. Look at them. So pretty. I love this one. It's the unicorn out of all these very tame garden silks. Well, this one is good too. It's not as, as colorful as this one. But ooh, they are so pretty. Gloriana, for example, is I think more or less impossible for me to buy here in Germany. I think there's one shop and it's it's the one shop I had so much trouble with last year that I'm very reluctant to order again. So. Ugh. There are going to be new customs rules put in place in 11 days. So I probably have to at one point see if they improve their business. So these are dinky dyes and this is pearl silk. Look at this. It's very different from, from the regular silk. Uh, hold it, hold it while the focus is. <laughs> It's very different, but it's pretty. It's so shiny. It's so, so shiny and still very soft, even though it, it doesn't look like it. But if you touch it, it's it's super, super soft. I love these colors. Look at them. This is so pretty. Which color is this? Christmas pine. Interesting. I would not have called this color Christmas anything. <laughs> That's more of a beachy, summery thing for me. So, and these are... Eh, do not drop it on the floor. We have a couple of water lilies from Karen. Uh, or Caron, I don't know. Um, these are silks. Again, just gorgeous. I've had those before with my Mirabilia. And then we have a lot of, yep, wildflowers. And, and these are cotton. Don't let me lie, but I think this is cotton thread. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think so. Yep, cotton, here it is. So there are a couple of repeats. Um, the pattern actually calls for three of this color here, which is a bit more purple in person than it shows on camera right now. It's a grayish purple. And then we have a couple of this color here. 
And I think these are not repeats. There's a slight different difference between the two greens, unless the eye is playing tricks on me. That might be the case. Yep, it is the same green. It just looks a little bit different, but that can also be the dye lot. They might be different dye lots. Mm. No, they're not. <laughs> that is just my eyes. <laughs> or the fact that I'm super tired. So thank you, thank you so much, Jessie. I know that I would have absolutely not been able to get the wildflowers here. And I think the Gloriana is also super, super hard to get here. Which is very disheartening. Oh yeah, I know that tissue paper too. <laughs> so we... Ooh, Color Street. We have this envelope, which is sealed shut. And of course, of course, the queen of chaos can't find a pair of scissors. Don't look too hard. These are actually fabric scissors, but yes, I am using them on plastic right now. I don't sew. Ah, these are the Mill Hill kits. Ooh. So I asked Jessie, again on a whim, if she could get me a few of these little buttons and beads kits from Mill Hill. They are complete kits that come with this, um, this is perforated paper, the beads you will need, the floss, and in this case it's this pumpkin button. Um, I'm not going to stitch this on, on the perforated paper. paper. I'm going to either chose one from my insanely big stash or I'm going to get a fabric that will fit these three um, kits I got and I will stitch it as a little sampler thing. Um, the second I got is this owl, the midnight owl. So there's a little bat button in there and then you can see a lot of brown and uh, blue beads and the floss, look at that. Gorgeous colors. And the last one I got is the Moonstruck. And this is so cute. So we have this little black bird as the button. And then, of course, a lot of purplish beads because the whole vibe of this one is more purple. So pretty. I saw someone stitch the, I think it's the Halloween Village kits. There are like, I think, 11 of these kits. And I saw someone stitch a sampler out of nine of them, I think it was. So I was uh, highly enabled by that. Color Street. I can't get these here in Germany, but I've always been very, very intrigued by Rachel's pretty nails. So she said she was going to send me some, but I've completely forgotten about this. These are so pink and glittery. <laughs> Um, uh, do they have a name? Yeah, how romantic. There, <laughs> this is amazing. I have to figure out how they are applied. I think she has a video how she applies those. I have to look that up. Thank you so much, Rachel. I'm going to try them and see if I can do this. Um, I actually like nail polish. I just never use it. So, oh, the butterfly. So it's so big. I didn't expect it to be that big, but look at it. This was in a in a shop restock, I think, like a week ago. So I don't know if she still has some of them. But if you're interested, Rachel also has an Etsy shop, so please check that one out as well. She makes uh, needle minders, and she has some awesome plans for for new needle minders using stuff she finds um, on her walks at the beach. So I'm I'm super excited about those. Um, I will have to put my restrained pants on <laughs> so I won't buy everything <laughs> because that kind of thing gets me. Um, but she showed me the butterflies and yeah, I told her sold to put one into my package. Even though, Rachel, did I even pay you for this? I don't think so. So we have to talk. Uh, if I command, remember correctly, you wanted to borrow this. I need more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it was the little owl you got in your up all night box. Sure, I will stitch that. I honestly can't remember if we talked about this, but 
you know me, I will stitch that. Isn't that cute? This was in an exclusive pattern. Kitty, don't, don't, don't step on my keyboard, please. We have been so successful so far, not botching this up. Putting the keyboard away before she kills it. Um, and I don't know if this will be released at some point or if it's going to stay exclusive, but yeah, totally going to stitch that. I love Tiny Modernist. It's it's very simple and cute. And yeah, I'll see that I'll get this done as soon as possible and send it back to you. And yeah, thank you. Not that I need any more stitching right now. <laughs> I've, I've started so many stitch alongs. Speaking of, I don't need more stitching. I again asked Jessie um, if she could get me these two um, ink circle charts when she attended the virtual expo. Um, they had this year a theme, the designers, um, the Moo, the Maria, so a lot, I don't think all of them, but a lot of the designers designed something with a cow on it. And there were many cute patterns, but the only one that that spoke to me was actually the cow that jumps over the moon. So I'm going to give you a bit of a close-up. I thought this was just the funniest thing. And then of course there was a companion piece that had a kitty. Yeah, do I need to say more? So again, thank you so much, Jesse. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> I need more time to stitch. Okay, what do we have here? Pretty placer. I think I've seen those, aren't they? Yeah, <laughs> this is a diamond painting pen um, that looks like crayon. I've seen pictures of those, but I honestly didn't really know what they are and where to get them. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> this is so funny. Kitty, don't eat the envelope, please. Cucumber, cucumber melon. Do they smell? Oh yeah, oh yeah, they smell like cucumber melon. Interesting. That explains why this package actually has a smell. <laughs> and I think that's the other thing that smells. And this is probably paddy wax, isn't it? Pink watermelon. So Rachel, you have to tell me, is this the normal one? Don't drop the silks on the floor. I love you, but the silks do not need to go on the floor. Of course, one of them didn't make it. Oh, this cat. Um, you have to tell me if this is the regular one or if it's the extra sticky, what is this called? The, the stickier one. Um, and this is also watermelon. Hmm? Smells good. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's something I ordered. A big cane or cone, cone is the word, girl. A big cone of 310 DMC floss. I already have a white one, so this was the next logic step. I actually also wanted to get the 3371, but that was sold out, so me <laughs> because these are actually the colors that are pretty much in every every single um pattern and uh, i can't get the cones here for whatever reason cones are not sold in germany sometimes i can get them via amazon but um i've only been able to get the white one but not the black or the black brown one so rachel did order these from michaels i think and brought them over from the us with her and I think these are the Rory goodies. Exciting. So. <laughs> yep, Rwana would be so proud of you. Okay, careful, careful. Not washi tape. <laughs> I did not expect that. Ah, oh, this is so pretty. What is this? Is it penguins and stars and balloons? <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> Let's 
So what do we have here? Caramelized onion. Yum. And this is mixed pepper and red onion. Again, num, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> this is amazing. Wow, can't wait to taste this. I'm not going to pull a rage and do it right now. <laughs> I think I need something else to go with this. But awesome, thank you so, so much. Real, authentic, and honest. Yep, I can believe that. So that is it. The box is empty except for the tissue paper. There are the grease stains from the chips, I and Rachel. I have no idea why um, the grease actually got out of the of the bag. They are supposed to be sealed, but yeah, maybe maybe the travel did a number on one of the bags. That's all, always possible. Wow, so much stuff. Thank you, thank you so much, Rachel. Also, thank you for bringing uh, some of that over from the US for me. Um, that was actually not the original plan. I actually planned to have Jesse send it over, like one of these massive boxes that Rachel sometimes gets. But when she went over to the US um, to see her family, um, yeah, we just decided she would pick up my, my stuff along with her. So thank you so much. Um, yeah, like I said, please visit um, both of their shops. If you have anything you would like to, to get stitchy-wise, I'm pretty sure that you can at least ask Jessie and she will see what she can make possible. She is super accommodating like that. Um, also, if you are following Rachel and saw her amazing Northern Lights band sampler she has been working on, this thing is so beautiful. It's a rainbow band sampler. Um, Jessie has the silk pack she is using if you are interested in that. So hop over there and give it a look and uh, give her some of your business if you feel so inclined because she deserves it. Same for Rachel, if you want needle minders and if you are a bit patient and have time to wait, uh, she will have even more amazing needle minders soon. Visit her, to her shop, I think she has even more plans, but um, brain dead, so I can't remember. I'm just sure that's not all of it. <laughs> Anyway, the cat has decided this is boring. <laughs> She's on the floor now, so I guess it's time to go. Thank you for, for joining me for this video. I have no idea if I will be able to have more videos up this week. It's been a very hectic, stressful week. I'm going to try my best. I filmed about an hour of me diamond painting, so I can theoretically do a voiceover rip and chat if I find the time to record the voiceover, that is, because so far this week, this is the first day I actually have time to film anything. Um, but I will try my best. Uh, thank you to everyone for your kind words uh, concerning my dad. He is feeling better. Um, he was released from the hospital on Saturday the... what was it? 8th, I think. And we visited them last weekend and he is doing good. Um, he is not, of course, completely recovered yet. He tires very quickly still but um, he is better and I'm very thankful for that so thank you for all your good wishes things are at least looking somewhat up right now and yeah but we're still we're still stressed out <laughs> as you can probably imagine it's been a hard year and the pandemic pandemic has nothing to do with it at all um, which makes it somewhat weird <laughs> so all right, I'm going to stop jabbering now. I, I think I wanted to stop two minutes ago. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. I am going to try my best to put out at least some more content this week. Keep your fingers crossed. And yeah, until next time. Bye-bye.